Hello and welcome to Tap Talk number 141. First off, I want to apologize. We didn't post a Tap Talk last week um, and I'm just sorry. So we will post this one tonight soon as soon as I get done here so I don't forget. Tonight we do have a high-end night. Um, it's called High Roller Night in the bar. So we'll be tasting some pretty high-end wines, playing some games, some casino games, some dice games, um, and just having a good time. So I will get this video posted and I'm sorry about missing last week. Today I want to talk about um, some of the new wines that are on our menu that I really like. Uh, first one, of course, <laughs> is Louis Giroux. It's a Puy Fousse Premier Cru, and what they do is they pull grapes from a bunch of their Premier Cru vineyards and blend them together. So, um, Puy Fousse, it is a appellation in Burgundy that is um, grows Chardonnay. So when you see Puy Fousse on the on the bottle, it means it's a Chardonnay. It won't say. I don't believe it says Chardonnay anywhere on the bottle, but it does say Puy Fousse, which means that it is a Chardonnay. So it's one of my favorites. Another one of my favorites right now is something different. It's from Gerard Bertrand. It's a pink pole. Um, it is from the Languedoc region in France, which is gonna be in Southern France. Um, we had it at one of our events and it went over really well. It's really refreshing. It's got like lemon in the end. It's got a little zest in the end as well. Um, just really a good summer wine. Um, not something that I would pair it with, but it does go with fish so and shellfish. So for those of you who are shellfish and fish lovers, this would be a good one to try. Um, if you are in the bar though, uh, talk to John about this uh, region. There's some fun things with this region. Um, Gerard Bertrand, he actually carried the Olympic torch. I just read about that. So um, that's another fun fact for you. And of course I have to pick a red. And I picked uh, Tenuto Sanguido, it's Gil their Gildeberto. So Tenuto Sanguido makes three wines. Uh, Lead Face, Gildeberto, and Sesakaya. Um, Sesakaya is going to be their higher end, and then the other two are going to be mm, I, <laughs> probably their entry level, but they're still pretty high end. Um, excellent wines, um, entryway into Sesakaya, very good wines. I um, was at an event with um, the owner of Sesakaya and sat with her and talked with her, and just wonderful people and wonderful wines. So when you're in the bar, stop and try one of our new wines. We think we have over 40 of them that are new. So we'll get some of the other staff to be in a video too and tell you what their favorites are as well coming up. So cheers, happy fourth.